Alright, might as well get this going. Ah, I'm trying to stream today. I kind of felt like shit for a second there. I think I'm good. I think, anyways. Um, we're gonna try to finish leveling Summoner. I say try. I'm level at level 98 right now. Granted, I'm probably gonna start burning the roulettes into it, so. So I'm not sure how much I really want to do that with tanks, specifically. Everything besides the tanks now is at 91. I've done a few fates here and there. I have two of the riding maps, I think, right now. Um, the problem right now, because like, since I'm using Summoner with fates, is if there is not a tank, and any of these motherfuckers run up to me with mobs, I end up being the one that has the mobs. Easily. Absolutely fucking easily. Since people don't know how to do face when there's only like two people and they're not tanks, dumbass motherfuckers run up to me and try to kill whatever the fuck I'm fighting instead of just going and getting their own mob to speed it up. No, they gotta fight what I'm fighting because they're too stupid to understand that they're slowing it down. So there's a whole lot of not shutting the fuck up and shout chat again about just the most worthless goddamn thing. Someone was complaining that South America should have its own data center. I'm just like, are, are you stupid? Do you know how many dialects there are? It's not a monolithic language down there. Yeah, most of it derived from like the same root language, but they've all like developed separately at this point. Also, I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason why the cloud beta test happened. We just haven't heard any act further news about what they're doing with any of that. It apparently worked out really fucking well for the uh, more international players. Since it was still rooted in North America. Besides, somebody has to host it. And they're not like China where they're just gonna fucking pay to have their own servers. Like, China's a big enough company where they could just be like, Yeah, no, no, I'll just run our own. Fuck you guys. Also, I can guarantee you that same bitch wasn't complaining about the... About Endwalkers using another... Another couple of countries' cultures. But not giving them data centers. Like, fit, let's face it, no. No. There's no way that same bitch was making that same fucking complaint for Endwalkers. I don't know. Oh, I've got shit to pick up. Yeah, I've been I've been crafting too. I, I did a bunch of crafting yesterday. So I got kinda tired. And I'm somewhat caught up with the uh the crafting quests, um, I haven't started the one that's at 96 Weaver. Also, I see at this point, just delete the freaking saw crystal things for crafting. You kept telling us you were just going to give us the rest of the saw crystals, and then you never fucking did. And that was Heaven's Ward. You make promises that you have no intention of fucking ever keeping. I remember edgy glamours, you dumbass motherfuckers. That still hasn't happened. You gave it to fairies. We still don't have other edgy glamours. It's still just the carbuncles. Like, holy shit. Yeah, all the melee are now 91. Dragoon got changed quite a bit. I'm surprised. It lost the tether, which is a bit odd to me. Granted, half the fucking dragoons never used it correctly, so... How did it fucking go? I got rid of Spine Shatter Dive, which really surprises me. As far as I can tell, anyways. I looked. I didn't see any replacement shit. Looks like they just part everything off and then just... Did a few extra things. Where's that one... That's probably an unassignable... Yay! This got added. 
it becomes your fifth hit. So whatever order it picks, it replaces one of the uh, fourth hit, fourth hit, fifth hit abilities. So it just takes over whichever one. And I don't remember how much of this worked this way before. You now gain stacks every time you use a uh, Draconian Fury or Raiden Thrust, which is the first hit of your AoE combo and the first hit of your single target combo after you've done one rotation through. Which uh, gives you a Wormwind Thrust once it caps out. Yeah, no, it's it, it's a bit weird. It's it's nice. It's nice though. It, it feels a little cleaner, but it does mean I have less options for getting in. It's basically just uh, star star driver if I have it at the time, and dragon fire dive, because high jump doesn't take you to the enemy anymore. <laughs> You don't even visibly change position on your screen. Which is, honestly, oddly disorienting. Like your camera doesn't change whatsoever, it's so fast now. Mirage Dive still exists. Probably is a few parts of this feel weird now. But otherwise, it really hasn't changed. I still find it funny that Reaper literally hasn't changed. Absolutely nothing about it is different. Up to, up to 90. Nothing is different. It is the exact same fuckery as it was before. Um, I should at least take the tanks through and do my, um... And do the hunts. Specifically. Alright, okay, that hasn't changed. Nothing's deleted, at the very least. I really wish they, when you swapped classes, they'd be like, Hey, this is a new ability. It's a way lower level. You probably wouldn't notice. Unless we told you. Because I, I hate looking through these. Some of these jobs I'm not familiar enough with to notice. Fuck. With White Mage, I, I don't fucking remember. I, I had to look through and it took me a second. The only reason I even knew it was there was because uh, I saw other white mages doing dashes and I was like, what's going on? Oh, they got a dash. Okay. Like, the only reason I noticed there was a new fucking ability. <laughs> There's a new ability that was low level. It's one thing when they add something attached to the, the level gain. It's another when it's at like 45 and you're like, why the fuck is this here? Yeah, I don't think this has changed at all. Yeah, this is 42? Huh. I think... Okay, to be fair, this might have been 50 at one point. Class specific. Huh. Weird shit. I guess he shuffles things around all the goddamn time. Okay. So there's not much I have to worry about. Also, I should probably be doing Paladin, because, uh, Paladin Retainer, but whatever. We're just trying to get everything to 91. <laughs> Once I'm done the casters, I'm probably going to healer next. One, because Scholar's already getting leveled, because Summoner. Normally, I would have swapped back and forth, but... Eh. Kind of a pain in the ass. I haven't done it this time. And, uh, White Mage already has an extra level into it. Because I was- I was joined up with Thanatos while he's leveling Summoner. Figured I'd give him the faster cues. Still don't know how we ran into nothing but warriors on that one. I appreciated it until we ran into one that wasn't geared. To be fair, my gear's kinda shit. 
of, but like, I have Tom's, I can fix some of this. Probably should with the ring, if nothing else, because that is bad. It's not like I'm using the poetics right now. Let's, let's go get a ring and some headgear, shall we? To be fair, I may also do fake grinding for the tanks from... from the previous areas. Oh, save. How's it going? From the uh, previous ones, because I didn't actually do any of the fucking fake grinding back, <laughs> back when it was relevant. I'm tired. It's fucking hot again. Not helping. Helping my mood. We're supposed to be hitting another freaking heat wave. Yeah, I've got poetics to burn. What? Oh, right. Ring. Ring, ring, ring. At the very least, headgear. Yeah, yeah, no, it sucks. That helped that I'm overweight, so it just feels worse. Also, it turns out there's a bunch of meds that make you respond worse to the heat. Didn't know that. Found that out today from somebody else. <laughs> ah, shit. No, I replaced the right slot. That's okay. I do have to re-glamour, though. Ah. That was six eye levels. I gained six eye levels off of that. Damn. Okay, what do we have? Okay, four Okopacha ones. At least one's right next to the eighth right. Gotta go beat up some alpacas. What have the alpacas done to me? Not much. But, uh, they have to die. Oh. I hit the wrong button. Oh! Yo! Okay. Sure. That's gotta be new, right? <laughs> I don't recognize that animation. Why is this here? Eh, now I can leave it. It's fine. No, 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 no. I don't even know how I did that. What the fuck? That's on the other side. So is this. This is on this side. Yeah, today we're actually leveling. At least that's the plan. The plan is to cap summoner. Oh, if I gotta beat something up. Oh, I need crimson. Crimson, get your booty out here. That.
Just bring him into the puddle. Get him eventually. <laughs> to do face, but if I run into one by accident, I might just see them. It's again, tank. I, I can kind of eat some hits. And warrior is a bit ridiculous for self-heal. Also, what I was looking for is right here. Hooray. Also, I'm not used to warrior in PvP. That that spinning jump, that that stuns in PvP. It doesn't do that here. Okay, these are in two separate directions from the eighth right. One's north, the other is the west. Get the north one first. So wait, what's... Okay, I'm on instance three. That explains why the fates are kind of easy. On, on the, um, instance one, they're usually kind of overpacked. Alright, that's done. I got beat up some bombs. Yeah, this is what my uh, shared fate looks like right now. It's not all that great still, but... I haven't even done them in two areas yet. <laughs> Also, I think I'm gonna catch this because people just finished one of the boss ones. Quite likely a bunch of people had it this way. Oh yeah. yeah here we go. Crabs. What are you fuckers doing here? A warrior is very ungabunga. I remember. Button does the thing I want. Yeah. Bring them to me. Just bring them to the pile. Alright, it is this one. Okay. Do what I mean about Uncle Bunko? I just got all my health back from like two hits. No, don't aggro me as you leave, you dicks. And Zin, move your booty. Warrior's been known to do some really dumb shit when the healers die.
Oh yeah, no, they changed that animation, that's for sure. Okay. To be more of an upwards flick. Warriors have managed to solo some of the, uh, some of the normal raids, too. Because raids have a normal tier and then they have an expanded tier, which is the actually difficult one. Oh, I only needed two. Shit. Eh, I guess we're killing it. On that. Oh, right. Is this part of the. Come on. Okay, no, it is part of that. Okay. Weird, because didn't it show a little icon on my description that was separate? What the hell? I don't have that layer, do I? No, that wouldn't look like that. I see. Is your is your little instruction manual outdated? Did I move it? Did I remove it from screen? Because there was no point. What the hell? Clip. No, it's just that. Huh. Maybe that's the simplified version. I don't know. Where are the beetles again? Oh, I'm thinking of a completely different area. I'm thinking of Yacht to L. Uh, I still don't remember where the beetles are. I have like a guess. I don't know exactly. I have found two cans, not beetles. Those things are on the southern half. And see, please, I'm begging you, reprogram all your little hunt markers. Giving me a general area isn't helpful when half the area has that exact name. That is not the page I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> like I said, these things are on the other side. They are out this way. I don't know why I specifically remember where these are. I think it's because they're annoying and they look weird. I like to play peekaboo. The missing problem is back. Granted, at least 
least with warrior it shouldn't kill me. In theory. Get over here. I don't want to deal with both of you. invites. I don't see this dude near me, which means you looked through the fucking search information yet didn't read that my search information says it's off. And I don't want FC invites? No, fuck off. Jeez, people are dumb. Yeah, it, it's the version of a guild. Somebody was here. Respawning. Oh, there they are. Okay. Wrong one. That's the other one, but I have to target somebody with it. easier. Crimson, get your booty moving. So that it should add this area to my shared fate. There we go. The only one I haven't done is the dome. I haven't done one in Heritage Found yet. But I'm not doing with Warrior just yet. Summoner maybe. Warrior no. Eh, no. Stop. Now tempting. Go ahead to the L. Hmm. But Warrior is like the absolute basic bitch tank. Like, if you're going to tank in this game and you don't know what you're doing, play with Warrior first. I wouldn't have recommended that, like, a couple of years ago. Now, absolutely. What else? Hold on, what else is here? Okay, I've got two of the same. Oh, it's just those. And they're all this way. Like, a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have recommended it, because Warrior is very squishy, and it didn't have the same self-heal potential it does now. Not only, not only does that benefit you, it benefits the healer. The healer has to do less work, so if your healer is actually, like, terrible, which I run into a lot of terrible ones, you might be able to keep yourself alive. Yeah, no. A couple of years ago, wouldn't have recommended it as a, as a starter. I wouldn't have recommended tank to beginners at all. It's not as bad now. I want to fight. Oh! I didn't know you could- 
can do that. Since when did they give basic enemies those moves? Huh. Well, that's not the information I wanted to find out, but okay. Usually only bosses have those kind of moves. Where it, you have to read the text to figure out where the AoE is going. That has been a boss exclusive thing for years. I didn't realize they were giving the basic enemies those kind of things. That's... That's troubling. I might get smacked more than I intend to here. Okay, so the piranhas are up near the uh, river, obviously. I guess lake in this case. They should be here? Yeah, I know they're there. There they are. Oh, the missing, it begins. It begins! Don't do this to me now, game! One thing you miss when you miss one or two hits, I've had you miss like five in a row. Don't do it. I'm not gonna lie, I like that new animation. At least I think it's new, I don't remember it. The move hasn't actually changed. As far as I can tell. But it used to be more like a golf swing. Which, granted, was fun, but, uh... No, it was about time it changed. That animation, I think it's been around since, uh... Since 2.0. on, where is it in here? Oh no, it's not Inner Chaos I'm thinking of. Maybe that animation has been around? I don't know, my memory's fucking bad. I've got PvP on the brain is the problem. <laughs> I'm more familiar with the PvP kits of these jobs now than I am with the PvE. I could just check the uh, skill showcase video. That'll tell me. Because if it shows up in that and is like heavily highlighted, it's probably a new animation. Hey, Reza, how's it going? Oh my god, the miss. The miss! Stop! Does that work? Dude, don't get in trouble watching my stream at work. Oh my god, the missing. Stop. Game, I can't take this. Game. Why are you so mean? I hate this 
do you level this fair G accuracy thing? Fucking sucks. Then again, my mom's been trying to get somebody fired at her job for a while because they caught him watching porn on the frickin' work computers for years. My uncle finally agreed to fucking fire him because he was constantly lying. works with. He worked in their shipping department. So I guess he just assumed he was never gonna get fucking caught like nobody was gonna look at the computers? I, I don't know. I don't know what goes through the head of that dumbass. I keep hearing stories about it though. I'm just like Like, my mom doesn't work directly at their office anymore. She works remotely, because the uh, office is in Edmonton. I don't think they had key loggers. They just eventually caught him doing it or something. Or he wasn't deleting the search history. I don't remember. But he's constantly playing games and watching porn. Just like, Jesus fucking Christ, how do you find these people? It's not, you know, that smart as a businessman. He's got some intelligence considering that he basically got the company as a compensation package from the last group. But, like, he's got issues. He was more likely to get caught if he if he was doing it in the bathroom. They only have one. They only have one bathroom. It's not that big of a company. It's retail. Like, I hear about shit from them all the time. It's insane. Yeah, 
Yeah, my uncle still kept him around for several more years. He's lost them a shit ton of money by lying about shit constantly. Like, they told him to give a written notice to um one of their employees for constantly being late. And then a verbal warning. And then they were gonna fire her. And they were like, something's not right. So they brought him in to talk. And she was just like, yeah, he never said anything. I, I didn't realize being late was a problem. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I could see that. But I was just like, why would you assume being late wasn't a problem? Like, if your employee doesn't state that them coming in late constantly is a problem, they're, they're going to assume it's not. Like, if I came in late every single day in a week, because I kept having, like, problems getting in due to, like, bus scheduling or something, and my employer never said anything, I'd just assume it was alright and they were chill with it. I probably would have asked by that point, but, like, still. I don't know. It's just fucking wild shit. They almost fired her, despite the fact that the dude who was supposed to tell her was lying that he told her when he never did. But yeah, no. They had to, like, downsize the company a bit. And mom was like, I'm, I'm gonna have to fight your uncle on this. About firing him. And no, no, he agreed. He agreed immediately. <laughs> yeah, most jobs have a lightness policy. But if you don't state anything outright to them, like, they were supposed to give her a written reprimand and this dude never did. He was told to and he never did. Of course she's not gonna, like assume something's wrong because they don't have like it's a bit more informal they don't have a ton of like written fucking agreements i remember that much i have worked for them a bit because they used to hire um younger kids to help with inventory they'd hire, they'd bring in a bunch of adults and a bunch of kids and some of my classmates and just count product Granted, now they have, like, computers to help keep track of that stuff, so they don't do that as much as anymore. Okay, so I have to summon her for these last two. Because although I could potentially do it, there's going to be some huge accuracy problems. So remember how I said I hadn't done anything in Heritage Found yet? I'm about to do something in Heritage Found. Hopefully. It doesn't show up unless I get gold. Oh, fuck right off. No. No, I'm not dealing with you. It's so pointless. Get lost. Besides, I don't even have my carbuncle out. Baby! Hello! Be a lot harder to fucking do. Oh, good lord! They're so fucking fat! So fat that I can't properly grab them. You dumb fucks! Get lost! Sir, you don't even have your tank stance on! Why do you think you're fucking helping? Know where 
the fuck you went now? They still need, I think, like two of these. Dude, you- oh my god, he is that brain dead! Dude, you are a dark knight! Wanted help? Go grab a shit ton of them and fucking let tank for once! You dumb fuck! Lord, you are a waste of my time. Fucking done, I'm out of here, screw you. Means I'm gonna have to stay in the area for a bit. Crimson, you actually following? Fucking damn it. Oh my god, it won't lose my aggro because this fucker decided to fight it. Thanks, jackass. Seriously, do it a tank. Why are you fighting the things I'm fighting? You fucking moron. Go grab an AoE pile, you idiots. Stop wasting my time in the worst way possible. Holy fucking shit. Why are people this dumb? It's not doing anything for either of us if you just follow the fucking mobs I'm aggroing. At that point, just go single target a fucking mob. And get the fuck out of my face. Where the hell were these things again? I remember getting this one before. Again, this this is half this fucking map. I don't know what this means. Are they near the entrance? Is that what I'm thinking of? Also, I don't know why my high court my cordials are on this page at all. I don't need them here. Should just take them off. I'm not gonna bother doing that right now. Seriously, where are I see. I, I can't stress that enough. You gotta fix your hunt logs. You gotta fix these. Telling me it's in this area when it's half the map is not cool. Oh, that's just a basically, like, instant give them. Now I'm basically stuck here until this idiot finishes it, because I'm not going back to that. Fuck that shit. I've never seen one of those ones where their collection fates. Where the enemies are so fat that they basically have sight over the entire area. That is so bullshit. I think they might also have sound aggro, but that like matters so little to the grand scheme of half the game, I'm not entirely sure. No, they don't. Unless that specific variant has sound aggro. Yeah, they don't have sound aggro. But within its aggro, its level radius for aggroing, so... And I'm running around behind it. I'm not- I'm not walking, I'm running. Means that, you know, should be able to find me. Okay, yeah, that's not finishing. No, dude, if you weren't running around like an idiot and just not fucking handling it correctly, it probably would have actually completed. Alright, where is the last one? Oh. Why is 
didn't specify Yesterland. These things are all over the entirety of living memory. Eh. I couldn't tell you why. Oh, maybe I did finish properly. Hold on. No, it didn't. Because if it had, it would have actually showed up here. That's an odd amount of EXP to give me when it didn't actually complete. Huh. Yesterland. Just because the uh, map's a bit more open. I should be able to find these pretty easily. Yep, there's one. Also, it turns out this thing is a mount. When you camp out all the combat jobs, you uh you get a uh, one of the outrunners. Alright, there we go. I'm, I'm still mad you can't ride this. You can't even land on it. Like, let's see, why did you give us a theme park and not let us ride any of the rides? DPS wanted. Watch it be fucking Crystal Tower shit again. Always Crystal Tower. Oh, I'm still. That's so fucking frustrating that they basically forced Crystal Tower down everyone's threats because it's required for story progress. I can't for the life of me figure out why Jack Black is trending on Twitter. It just seems to be a bunch of artwork and old pictures. Fucking Twitter being borked all the goddamn time doesn't help. Then again, it did shit like that before. Before Muskrat took over. We're just like, say something was trending when really it wasn't. Also, uh, I am not looking forward to leveling Black Mage, because that is the next one up. <laughs> like, if I had issues with Pictomancer, oh boy. Shit, I've had issues with Red Mage, and Red Mage is the less likely to pull enmity right off the bat. The tanks are just truly god-awful now. Like, my dude, all you really have to do to fix this is just keep AOEing. I, I kind of wish they'd 
bring back AoE Provoke, but like, I don't see that happening. Also, like, shit, it took them forever to actually give Provoke a proper description. It just used to say gesture threateningly or something along those lines. So it didn't actually explain how it worked. You just either had to learn from somebody else or, like, fucking guess. <laughs> The only reason I knew is because I read it on the forums during the beta phase. It's weird that it took them so long to actually give it proper text. Yeah, see, that's probably one of the biggest things I've been baffled about. Like, why did it take you so long to write text that actually explained how provoke worked? And even when people knew how it worked, they still screwed it up. You have to continue generating enmity on top of it. Problem is, now it, it gives you a tiny bit of extra enmity. On top of the, uh, putting you at the top of the list. Which unfortunately results in people using it to pull and fucking up the entire mass pull. I see so many tanks use Provoke to start their mass pulls, and then, inevitably, they haven't done anything properly, and now I have all the enmity. Unlike half the mobs. Hooray. spooky at night. Maybe it's just because everything's like glowing in random locations. Oh, so yeah, no. The uh, Q is absolutely lying to me. Yeah, DPS was probably needed. The problem is everybody saw that and now everybody's queued in as DPS. Because it, it takes into account when you queued. So despite the fact that it's probably swapped, it's a, uh, you know... Still the exact same. Oh, this Abby is gonna take fucking forever to get in. This is probably going to give me the most EXP out of everything. It gives me one of the higher level ones. I basically get an entire level. Because I'm, I'm kind of trying to avoid... Aerogenics. Because I don't want to do it. Because the pulls are already bad. And the tanks suck. And just... Just a mess. I don't want to deal with it if I don't have to. Then again, uh, when I did leveling roulette yesterday, it just gave me the exact same dungeon I was leveled for. It gave me Vanguard. So I don't know what that other summoner was doing, because it basically created a book club. I think we had a warrior, and then we had two summoners and a scholar. Also, I have no idea why I'm seeing so many fucking scholars. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue. 
Seems like half the healers I run into are on Scholar. And most of them are bad. Most of them are either getting themselves killed or they're so bad that when shit hits the fan they can't they can't recover anything. So again, I don't know if something happened with Scholar? I've been told nothing's wrong. So why is everybody complete ass at it? Like, I always say I'm bad at Scholar. Usually it's because it just takes me a while to warm up. And yet I, I ended uh, an alliance raid with people thanking me for covering their ass. And I was like, what? I, what do you mean? I didn't really do anything. You all still died. Also, again, seriously, I have to go back and fix these. Oh, now I remember why I went to Favnir. Because I was like, wait, why didn't I just go to Labyrinthos? Because the second half of Labyrinthos is a lot higher level than Favnir. Also, I'm already kind of at the point where I don't need to worry about tomes, at least for Caster. I've mostly got a settled uh, gear set right now. Except for weapons. Weapons I still have to buy, and they are expensive. We will be doing expert at some point. I just might have to wait until I cap summoner. Still gotta be doing it on Pictomancer, even if I cap summoner first. Hopefully, hopefully Red Mage actually gets fixed tonight. There's supposed to be a uh, maintenance. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be fucking disappointed. Like they said they're going to? That is it. Didn't say what they were gonna do to fix magnification. Literally all it needs is an ain't its buff timer extended. That's it. But it's SE. I'm like, are they gonna actually fix it properly? Is it still gonna be broken and unusable? So I just wanna play Red Mage. I'm less likely to have all the enmity if I'm on Red Mage. I'm still probably gonna have all the enmity. But it's far less likely to happen. There it goes. Alright, B, it's time for pain and suffering. You know, if the DPS would hit accept. Bruh, thank you. I'd rather not see this one either, but uh, I guess we're doing this. Countdown to the VOD getting fucking trolled on YouTube.
Since this one has the, uh, the song that fucking got muted last time. I got fucking copyright trolled. Hooray. I'll play, uh, I'll play this, the, uh, combat sound effects fuck with it enough. We'll see. Because again, it was just, it was the, it was the house orchestra in role that was the problem. Granted, at least I'm not healing it this time. Well, with the second boss, none of the tanks know what the fuck to do anymore, so that's gonna be fun. Granted, again, that's more of an issue for healers and dancers. Do we just have a shit ton of newbies? Because a bunch of them are staring at the door like it's gonna open. So what I find funny is it's always the first near one or the third near one. It's never the second. No, I'm not joking. I haven't seen the second one in forever. Oh, I never hope for CT. It's never quicker. So many players are too brain dead to actually know how to run it. Not to mention there's still a high risk of fucking wiping on the last boss of Labyrinth of the Ancients. Because again, nobody knows how to run it. The last time I was in there, the tank was actively screwing over two of the groups. Literally running that through the entire alliance. This is from before when they before they thought that it might be a good idea to make sure that you know tank busters were marked properly as AoEs. Odd that they never went back and fixed any of them. This is eating my MP. I just remembered he doesn't do the line attacks on the first one. He just does the tackle. I I don't know why all of you are insisting on moving again. He doesn't do the doesn't do the line attacks here. We were already standing in a safe spot. Okay, now it's a dragoon. I'm like, how do they die? Oh, no. Being a dragoon is self-explanatory. <laughs> okay, right one is two. Yeah, the big problem here is the, uh... Due 
can't stop moving, you dumb fuck! God damn it, people, please. Also, your melee, you didn't need to keep moving. problem here is red girl and then the final boss not the first part of the final boss unless people are being that particular red girl's mostly the issue <laughs> I'm not used to having to read her when a meteor attack so I'm also fucking it up a tiny bit now Oh yeah, I also have to remember that since I don't have the upgraded summons, Titan and Ifrit actually have to move to my target right now. Garuda doesn't because Garuda's always been ranged. Also, I swear, anytime I'm not playing physical ranged, we either get a physical range that refuses to use fleet foot, or we don't get one at all. Oh, time to watch a bunch of people die because the tanks can't do their jobs properly. And they've already spawned the fight. Well, they're at least splitting them. The issue is I don't think they're going to turn them around correctly. I'll be surprised. Oh, wait, we actually got tanks with brains. So the healers aren't going to kill themselves for no reason. Same with the dancers. Okay, no, because the, the dude that's tanking this one's a brain dead moron. Why is it facing us when it's not the fucking shielded one, asshole? Come on now. Don't be that dumb. Don't be that fucking guy. So I discovered one time when I uh, thought the other tank was paying attention. Turns out he was just a fucking moron and wanted to fight the main tank for enmity instead of, you know, grabbing the other guy. They saw him with tank stance on. Turns out that shield eats provoke. I wish I was joking. So once it starts spinning around, it's almost impossible to get back. Rude. I don't have to go far.
Let them. Why are you both running the same direction? I'm back in a way. I can't hit them like this. Because now they both shielded. There we go. But yeah, no, I found that out the hard way because the other tank was just being an oblivious idiot. Shows me to assume that somebody having tank stands on means they're actually going to do their job. I even told my team that and I was like, sorry, I assumed he actually knew what the fuck he was doing. Turns out, no, he was a moron. Where are you guys going? That's not correct no matter what position they're in. Wow, okay, there's some fucking gremlin behavior going on. Well, a bunch of people just ate the blades and uh, died, so that's cool. Thanks, please. You gotta split them faster than this. Oh, god damn it. Not again. If I go to the front, I should be fine. Ah, the tank's gone back to not doing their job correctly. Okay. Cool beans! So many people just got popped for no reason. Like, that's not... That's not small damage. That's like a third of your health bar. <laughs> also, look at this pile of Bahamuts. What the shit? It's a pile of tiny Bahamuts. Thanks, seriously, you gotta move faster than that. There we go. I also wish they'd split them up a little more than that, because they're cutting it way too close. Realizing this isn't an opening to limit break. Probably the dragon, considering they're they're dead again. Ah. Yeah, no, it's the dragon. Immediately got up, do the exact same thing. Also, Essie, you gotta make it a little easier to tell that it's my team's bubble I'm standing in. I don't ask for that much. I the only way I can tell is if it's on my on my buff bar, and that's that's not good. This doesn't help me if it's part of the other other alliance. Also, ow, cramps make up your mind. Can't tell which end. So I can't tell what I'm supposed to do about it. Ugh. You get an ice pack.
White Mage is determined not to fucking dodge. Where are the melees apparently? Oof. She's about to get weird. Okay, so regardless of what I do, I'm either ending the stream after this run, or I'm going and taking a break. I can't tell which yet. <sighs> Neighbors, shut the fuck up. It's bad enough that you guys keep leaving trash in the hallway. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Let's wait till people are in the damn room. Especially on this one. <laughs> Like that, and you still missed how? Please don't stand there because I may have to move. So what is that shield on the scholar right now? <laughs> killed himself again because he couldn't be bothered to move. Nice work, buddy. Look how many people are dead. That's not even a difficult dodge. but I fucking can't now. So that ate so much MP. Go up for the guy I just fucking targeted. Oh no! This isn't it. We're not even at the part that's actually difficult. These people are just dumb. This isn't the hard part. Not even close. 
So many people got hit by the easy thing. Oh, a bunch of people are going to die in here. That's cool. They're uh, clearly not getting it. This entire fight is based around the, the polarity mechanics. The, wh the white and black thing, like, guys, please. I know you're dumb, but are you really that dumb? Even a, can't even blame it on color blindness either. The white and black are as, as far apart as possible. Like that dude I used to hang out with, with and Lunar who was fucking monochromatic color blind would have been able to do this. Uh, you guys need to keep moving. Uh, a bunch of you are dead to the death wall in a second. One dude ran into the death wall in the middle of the room. <laughs> getting pulled forward back a bit. I don't care that I get fucking hit, I just don't want to hit the death wall. That would be why. Kills, please. the hard parts. This one's a bit fucking finicky to read. Also, there's actually a dummy safe spot. For some of these. Apparently not gonna exist on this one. That middle spot where Red Girl is can sometimes be perfectly safe. This is the safe spot for the meteors. It's more people getting through that than I thought would, so, eh. I've seen, like, entire alliances get wiped out by that. One more concern, which is the final boss. Well, second half final boss. There's a lot of one-shot mechanics. <laughs> Thing in SE is just like, one-shot mechanics into the four-player dungeons. That... that ghost boss is an absolute nightmare. It's wild how many people just refuse to raid what's going on. Like, not even just, like, refuse to read. They're also not, like, paying attention to what the other players are doing. Which, like, if you have trouble... 
seen or reading the text, your best bet is to follow the leader on that. And to be fair, in the case of that dungeon, you have two other bosses to determine who's actually gonna be good at the fucking dungeon. You, know, you can follow and, like, not get completely screwed over. Fine, yet, don't even do that. I do this. It's, I, I don't have the follow up attack. and I don't understand why. Especially with the orbs. Uh, if you don't know how to dodge the orbs, just stand next to 2B. She eats the orbs. It takes no damage. But she's gonna stand within melee range of one of them. think when I'm doing, I usually just stand next to 2B. Make up your minds where you're going with the lasers, please! Titan, that way! Titan! Bruh. You just have to think smart people. Oh, right. This is the 14th. That's physically possible. Unless it involves screwing SE over, in which case it's entirely possible. Good teleporting forward, <laughs> did you there, Reaper? Your <laughs> so bad, everybody caught up. Now, here's where we might hit a problem. Well, YouTube end wise. Then again, I, I can buy myself enough time. This, I think this might be the only one that could be. I'll say with, um, 14, I haven't hit too many problems with copyright trolls. It's just, you know, near yeah, crossover. We're not even at that song specifically. It's, it's second half only. Ah, oh, fuck. Why did you do it first? I have to move in a second. Boy, can I tell the healers don't trust the fucking melees at this point? Based on those shields. Can't blame them. Put them in the middle, and that's like the worst fucking idea. Just move them. Because you leave them 
in metal, you're more likely to fucking kill somebody for no reason. <laughs> Nobody's paying any attention. tank buster. <laughs> Still been in melee range. Not that difficult. Now, as long as I don't end up tanking this, it's an a oh, right run. I have ended up tanking this thing a few times when I'm not tank. I was knocking like a third of my HP off every fucking time should have been an indication to the others, but nope. Alright, where are we going? Also, I hope you guys like heights. Floor goes transparent a couple times. Also, there goes the Square Enix building! Yeah. No, I initially thought it was just like a, a train cart. Because that made sense based on the fucking trains that show up. But no, that was Square Enix building. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, you guys are just insisting on not fucking moving those correctly. Okay. Hooray. Also, tanks, please do not execute somebody with those. Okay, granted, there's a couple people out here who probably deserve it, but don't do it.
man, we still haven't hit any of the hardest stuff. Also, I wonder if I can time this correctly again. Where is it? I think I got it! Fuck yeah, let's go! Get good, scrubs! Oh, fuck, not that way! <laughs> direction. Lemmings. Lemmings, every single one of you. I saw one person walk off the cliff and decided to do it as well. the time. I should probably pay attention to middle. Oh, you got a ride. Okay. Yeah, no, that'll do it. on this run. Anyway, how's it going? I'll do the hydrate in a second. This has a high potential for my teammates killing me, so like... Also, I have to get a drink after this. I think I might be fine. Perhaps they're going away. But I still need to take a break regardless. Good, just relaxing. Is it hot there? Then again, it's Texas. I mean, like, hotter than usual. Yeah, that's currently what I'm doing, to be fair. I'm at 98. I know you can't see that right now. Never mind, 99. Do I have this already? I think it's in my house, which it won't show up. Okay. Now I'm just out. Hopefully that doesn't get nuked by fucking copyright troll on YouTube later, but again, like, I've got time to fucking prevent... prevent shit from happening. Alright. Oh, and here's the hydrate. This is the last of my drink for right now. So I'm gonna put it on iCam. I'm gonna run some ads, I'll be right back.
Oh, okay, I'm back. Hold on. I just gotta get my earbuds in. And I think I'm doing leveling roulette next. Oh, I didn't actually see what my EXP was, so like, hold on. Barely. Okay, I barely leveled. Ugh. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's leveling relax time. Oh, that is a cue. Great. As I don't really have anything to do while I wait for the cues now. So I don't know what I'm specifically doing for leveling crafting. If I knew, I'd actually go get materials. It's kind of a thing I figure out when I go to actually rain the XP, so. Oh, but yeah, no, I think I'm feeling fine. I think it was just gas. Hooray. And my body never wants to function correctly or never wants to tell me the right information. Your mind, damn it. Especially with the cramps. Make up your mind. I can't tell what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> to make things feel better. Like, do I take painkillers? Oh, half the time it's, it's not even uh, it's half the time it's not even necessary like fuck and the library website is still fucking down god I'm good I I'm not looking forward to having to go through and apply all the books I finished reading to it to my account later. Ugh. Like I've I've completely lost track of how many ebooks I've read now. And at the start of next month, I'm probably paying for that Kobo Plus subscription so I can read manga. As far as I can tell, they have like the most, if not all, of Land of the Lustrous is a uh, free with Kobo Plus. So I'm just like, oh fuck yeah! My library sure as fuck doesn't have it. At least not ebook wise, and I doubt they have it on shelf. Granted, not that I can tell, because the website's been down for three weeks now. So I can't even check. Can't see if it's in another location, can't do shit. <laughs> Okay, I haven't gotten any more cards. I had to check to see if my card list was correct. Carby, what do you think we're getting today? How should you bet it's a Realm Reborn? So unfortunately, I think it gives me the least AXP, because even with the bonus, it's really not all that much. I know getting anything in Crystal Tower area wouldn't have given me enough for a level. If I get, um... If I get an Endwalker's uh, Alliance raid, it, it gives me the XP for a full level. No problem. Should be mixed in. Enough? No, hold on. Probably 
is I'm throwing ice cubes in, and the fucking powder loves to stick to the ice cubes. So, to make sure. Oh, and ice homemade ice cream is really delicious yesterday, by the way. In case anybody was wondering. I don't know if I mentioned that on stream. I mentioned, like... Like, trying to get some off my mom, but I never mentioned that she actually was just, like, offered... I'm, I'm not even sure. Maybe she... Maybe I did mention that on Saturday. We ate it all. She only made enough for both of us. But it's, like, two ingredients. She makes it with, um... Chocolate pudding and high-protein chocolate milk. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was, it was pretty good. Also, you're on a mission now. What does that mean? Ooh, good luck with that. Like, I've been stuck at 260 for months now. I'm at least not going up, but I'm not going down. I got below 260 all of once, and then went back up. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Then again, you're tall. You're tall and you actually have muscle. <laughs> Wait, what is your healthy height? Wait, for your heights. Yeah, to be fair, possibly. You might need to go to a doctor and get like a scan or something. Because I know they can scan your fat. And tell you what's up. Yeah, luckily, to be fair, BMI is complete bunk, but it does give you a baseline to work with. Like, considering most football players are classified as, like, obese, despite the fact that they are all muscle. And yet, for some reason, we're still using BMI as the fucking baseline. It sucks. Yeah, there's no way 187 is achievable for you. You would have to be an absolute beanpole. I think that would be class. I think if you were past 300, well into 300, it would be. It would be obese. Not too sure. I don't remember the actual ranges. The thing is, you can always aim for for 250. And if it if it feels like you could lose more, you can manage it. Because like once you're at your target weight, you can figure out whether or not that feels healthy to you. Because, like, being underweight is just as much of a problem. I went to elementary school with a girl who was actually, like, medically underweight. So she had a specific diet for years. She didn't actually hit her target weight until uh, junior high school. Yeah, cutting, cutting back on the sugar is usually, like, the first thing you should do. Don't make a shit ton of changes all at once, though. You'll just make yourself miserable, and you'll never stick to it. Small, small changes. Small changes gradually. Yeah, good. Because that's what happens with a lot of people. They're like, oh, I'm going to go on, like, the keto diet. And then they change their entire lifestyle all at once, and then they only stick to it for like two weeks. Because they've made themselves so miserable, they can't do it anymore. That's why all these fat diets don't work. 
Granted, keto can be used for actual medical reasons, if I'm not mistaken, but... You don't... You don't do everything all at once. Unless you have, like, a severe medical condition or find out you're allergic to gluten all of a sudden. Allergies can be fun like that. Blech. Yeah, that's basic. That is basically the entire reason why fad diets don't work. They always expect you to make all those changes on day one. <laughs> also, never, never let a doctor tell you to take fucking Ozempic or any of its uh, any of its um. Other variants off the bat. Fucking neurosurgeon told me to take Ozempic without trying any other fucking products first. Like, fuck off, bitch. I totally want to be on another injectable for the rest of my goddamn life. Yeah, no. Also, I think there's like two generics now. I overheard a, a woman talking to the pharmacist the other day. I think there's two generics. But I'm just kind of assuming, because you mentioned Wigovi, which is one of them. And I never heard of the other. Also, if that's serious, you'll, seriously your fucking advice to somebody losing weight as the first option, you shouldn't have a fucking medical license. I'm sorry. You just shouldn't. Don't offer the fucking lazy option. That's assuming it doesn't cause some horrible side effect. My dad was on it and he literally couldn't eat, so of course he lost weight. He was too fucking nauseous to ever fucking eat anything. Hopefully that gave that dumbass a kick in the ass hard enough to actually get him to try to lose weight properly. The drug never should have been fucking recommended for weight loss. It should have stayed as a... as a diabetes drug in, entirely. Like, yeah. The whole point was that it causes you, you to lose weight and eat less. But it never should have been anything but that... but recommended for diabetes. So specifically for... Type 2 is still on nuts when you're overweight and you eat too much, right? Or, well, eat too much sugar. Things that can spike your blood sugar. Because, like, skinny as fuck people can sometimes be on the verge of it, too. Just bad genetics and shit. Oh, retainers are coming back. RB, come on. We, got, we gotta go bully some of the retainers. Also, it's funny because the top, the Chondrite ended up actually coming in handy. I needed it for something. <laughs> or, okay, yeah, two of them are 95, one's 94. One's 92 and stuck at 92 till I level White Mage. Also, fucking Ozempic is still expensive as all hell. Hold on, what is it here in Canada? I check every once in a while. So I know it's expensive as hell and you have to get it once a month. Pfft. 
Oh, that's from monthly supply or four dozen. Wait. God, do you have to get it once a week? 200 to 300 bucks for a month's supply. So it looks like it might be worse in the US, which wouldn't surprise me. But like, bruh, my depot shot is free, but like, its original cost was like 40 bucks. That's every three months, roughly. So fucking Christ, like, no. I'm paying 200, 300 bucks for a month's supply of those damn pictures. Jesus Christ. We don't have fucking pharma care. Why would you even recommend that to somebody when you didn't know their financial status? Holy hell. Fucking asshole shouldn't have a medical license. God damn. Why does it keep giving me vault? The tank at least... Well, the tank hasn't bothered to budge, so maybe they're just as incompetent as the last one. Dude, go! Bruh! You are wasting our time, tank stance, dude! Come on! Also, side note, there's no mass pulling anymore. Tank, there is a door, are you blind? <laughs> ah, well, I'm gonna be tanking everything, apparently. And yeah, no, there's there's no mass pulling this first section anymore. I found that out the other day. It's, it's fucking locked. Tank's gonna fucking try it again anyways. Again, there is a door. We cannot go anywhere. You can stare at it all you want. It's not gonna accomplish anything. Oh, hey, we're also not, you know, bothering to gather enemies. So, uh... Cool! The, the sheer number of times I've seen tanks not understand that ranged enemies do not stand right next to you is wild. It's happened so much on Vanguard, so one of the enemies ends up with, like, full health because we can't AoE it. Like, without fail. Like, Vanguard has been... Awful for that. There's so many ranged enemies in that room. In that dungeon. Also, I'm not as concerned about my summon getting me aggro. They, they take a while before they do shit. I'm trying to figure out why the fucking Viper seems to be single targeting three enemies. Also, considering the game was bitching at me and not letting me run this with NPCs, I'm shocked how, how little this fucking area has changed. Like, they did change some things, mostly where enemies aggro from. The bosses haven't changed, ironically. They're still dumb and kind of awful. Hank, pick a direction, you dumb bitch! God, I would hate to be Viper right now. Yeah, I'm fine. This is the boss dropping on my head. This probably won't give me enough EXP to justify having actually run it. Wow, what? What is your issue with me?
Also, I don't know why the healer is trying to run over me. Uh, dude, that's not gonna help at all. Like, what are you doing? That's not a damage split. That's a stun and a, <laughs> a fucking DPS hit. I guess we're just not opening chests, because, like, they don't fucking matter to me. But I don't know where anybody else is. Like, the healer actually is appropriate for this level. Why are you running this? Oh, reduce the durability loss. I have those potions, too, but I haven't bothered to ever, like, use them. Just, I don't know, points. Okay, I'm surprised the game let me have that one. <laughs> I thought I moved too early. Hank, please stop wasting my time. There we go. If I move forward, I get enmity immediately. Which we do not want. At least for the most part, the healer seems to realize that the tank's bad at their job, but like... Also, seriously, dude, the the map, the mini map exists. What what are you doing half the time? Oh, there's really all that much to see here, and you can do that while moving. Seriously, what are you doing, I'll dude? Cut you to pieces. Why are you so oblivious? We're all here. We're all clearly present. Just pull the damn thing. Why are you sitting there? Oh, good to know the healer is just not going to dodge. Okay, great. Well, this is bad sign for later. At least I have res on summoner. I have the power. This is an indication they're probably just gonna sit there and eat every single night as they go past. They're not even dodging like very easily indicated AoEs. That's a bad fucking sign. Down with you! That's odd. That might have changed, actually. Because, uh, I didn't see anybody hit the tears. Down with you! So, did they go away <laughs> after the knockback? That actually is a change. They used to just sit there until they either got hit. Or he eventually ran out of space for them and they started timing out. And the tank's AFK! Dude, seriously! You're gonna AFK fucking- 
fucking tell us, asshole! Not DC, he's just being an ass. Dude. Hi. Like, shit, if you don't have a keyboard, maybe start emoting or something. I actually had to do that at one point, by the way, back on Fantasy Star Universe. My mom is getting pissy. I stole my keyboard. I managed to log in by copying and pasting a bunch of shit. To get my password and username. <laughs> but that wasn't really doable in-game when I had to fucking communicate things in a hurry. Luckily the one dude figured it out by me just fucking miming at him. <laughs> They already knew there was fucking bullshit going on. was, since one of the teammates on the one thing we were doing was an idiot and didn't know how to do the buttons correctly, and I did, I eventually just had to give up because I kept fucking point trying to point to the fact that he was on the wrong one and he just was not paying any attention. You would think the dude jumping up and down on the button would be indication enough that, hey, maybe you're in the wrong spot. Eventually my buddy figured out what was going on and was just like, yeah, no, she's in the correct spot. She doesn't have a keyboard and can't communicate that. Maybe pay attention next time. I think I later told him that I, that I was jumping up and down on the correct button and he just was sitting there fucking oblivious the whole time. Unfortunately, DPS is fast, so fast that the uh, first set of knights never actually gets to do anything. Also, I you don't think the tank it. caught on that the, the knights are not targetable. I think they might have been trying to run into them just a second ago. Sickness must be purged. Wall on this ledge? It doesn't have knockbacks, so. Fuck, I don't actually know. Yep, that didn't give me anywhere near what I needed. Cool. Well, I just got two Orchestrian rolls. One's an auto drop, the other was actually from the chest. Bruh. 
That gave me so little. That was half a level. What a waste of my time. Uh, it's gonna be Asura again. I will work. Which would actually be good because it gives me like 6 million EXP. Still wouldn't be enough to level, but then I might be able to milk it off the rest of the fucking things. Hell, I'd probably be able to go do fates at that point. Which means it's probably gonna be fucking Nidhogg again. It's like, I really just don't want to run Orogenics. I, I just don't. Oh, there were a few things I had in here. It's been two, almost two and a half hours. Damn. The game, I just want to be done this, please. We need to start working on Black Mage. So I'm going to have to, like, beat up a training dummy for a while to remember how to play Black Mage. They at least dumbed it down just a smidge. Not by much. There's still an absolutely... Massive fucking chasm between good black mage and bad black mage. And I don't see that chasm ever changing. But just now there's even less chance of being a mid-tier black mage. Because, like, between mid and actually good, it's pretty much dependent on sharp cast. No, not sharp. Yeah, no, sharp cast. The other one, sharp cast. Why? Why did you do that, Essie? But yeah, no, sharp cast got removed. That was kind of like the weird, like middle ground between being mid tier and being great. It was being able to efficiently use sharp cast, but they took it out. The mechanics that it was attached to still exist. They've just been. Altered, so they're a bit easier to grasp. Mostly the Thunder one. Now it's any time you, sw you swap elements, you get a charge towards um, throwing one of your Thunder spells. So you constantly have the ability to throw one out for free. 
when you swap between them or when you go from unaspected. So just starting your rotation at all sets it off. And the insane overbuff of mana fonts. There is still a huge fucking chasm between good ones and bad ones. I, I've already seen a bad one. The thing is, black mages are kind of rare, but I'm running. Partially because, you know, on caster already. I'm only gonna run into one other DPS. It seems to try to prioritize putting one range to one, one physical. Or at least it did at some point. I just haven't run into that many. There was, there's still a massive chasm between good and bad. I think my only issue is like, right now is I keep forgetting the spare exists. Ah, Titan. Ah, I'm gonna get thrown off the ledge, aren't I? Oh, Carby, I guess you get to do nothing today. Oh, that's encouraging. That was one landslide. Y'all. Back when this used to be difficult due to the fact that the latency was terrible. It's still funny that that was better latency than 1.0 had, but it was still terrible and un and unusable. Don't choke out our ability to escape, dude. Also, I'm gonna assume that the summoner just ate a bunch of bombs because I didn't see what happened. This isn't like the smallest, the most awkward platform in the game anymore. That, uh... That unfortunately goes to... That fight with the fucking Sphine mech thing. Utterly bizarre platform spawns. Also, um, he didn't replace Bahamut. I read the skill. It's now a, a three summon rotation. Gave me three mil. Thanks, game. You yeah, know, it's a it's a three summer rotation, so regular Bahamut still exists. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break again. I gotta go to the bathroom. Um, I'll put our cam on or some ads. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. And yeah, I think that's how it works. I think it's just more Bahamut. It's not a replacement Bahamut. Based on the wording and one of the skills. This action cannot be assigned to a hot bar. Summon Bahamut changes to summon Solar Bahamut when requirements for execution are met. What was the part I was reading? So it mentioned Phoenix as well. What is the part I was reading? Oh, is it regular Bahamut? Okay, hold on. What was I reading? It's gone. I, I, I have no idea. Treats? Last of summoning a Solar Bahamut in addition to Demi Phoenix and Demi Bahamut. So, yeah, I think. I think it just adds a third to the rotation. So like, you're the one that's at level 100, you can figure it out. <laughs> it's not like I really changed all that much about your actual rotation. But then it would explain why I don't seem to see it- Oops, sorry. But I don't seem to see it up as much. Like, if you see regular Bahamut pop up while you're at level 100, then what I'm saying is correct. <laughs> like, you, you got there first. I am about 5 million off? 5.7? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get healer gear. So, maybe putting in normal raids will be a good idea. I don't know how much EXP is, is actually going to be. It doesn't freaking say. So, you're after the bonus, in which case it actually tells you. Probably be Alexander again. Problem with, like, half of Alexander is the raid, the base raids were so gimmicky. Nobody knows how to do them anymore. Including myself. They're just so weird. <laughs> so many of them have, like, objects you can interact with. Which was never a good design idea. Because <laughs> you gotta think about, are people gonna be able to do this years from now? When they inevitably are forced to redo it? The answer is usually no. At least with Alexander. It got a tiny bit better over the course of um, the course of the raid. The earlier one sucked for that, though. Like, there's one where you actually put one of the DPS in a little fucking vehicle and have them drive around and shoot things. I 
Yeah, see, I, they're cool for like all of two runs and then after you're stuck in the buggy like 10 times in a row, it loses any entertainment because it has two buttons. Because if you put any more buttons on, it'd be a problem. Because you need to be able to figure out what the fuck's going on in like two seconds. Wouldn't happen if you gave it any more. Also like the entirety of the uh... The Stormblood raids were all reactionary commands with the stick. Because that was the gimmick they put in on that one. Was hitting your... Hitting your right stick or hitting an alternate button that wasn't part of your normal hotbar to do shit. And unfortunately you can't remap it with controller. So I'm stuck press pressing the stick. And I hate those buttons. Granted, my replacement controllers don't have the extra buttons underneath the, uh... Underneath the gamepad anymore. So. Eh. Not that I could have used them, but like, would have been nice if I could reprogram to them. <laughs> also, my neighbors are being dicks again. Cool. What else is there? be assholes and make a shit ton of noise. Could you at least clean the hallway up? It's disgusting. I'm not exactly like the cleanest person ever or a neat freak, but I know not to let my mess spill out into the public publicly viewable areas of the apartment. The shared space. I don't do that. I'm not that much of an asshole. Oh! Oh shit, we actually got a relevant one. Show me your all that I might become oh, divinity. This is gonna fall off. <laughs> you cannot escape my eternal gaze. Also, Tank, could you at least center the boss correctly? Reaper just killed himself because he's not paying any attention. From nothing, I mold life. Guys, like you gotta give me some room. You cannot escape my eternal gaze. Yeah, Tank, if you bothered to center this correctly, it'd be a lot easier to read. Instead of fucking fighting at a weird angle. Frustrating. You angled it correctly, we could base it on where the fucking center of the room is. Because there's a line there. Uh, Alright, time for danger, donut. Dancer. Not like that's a hard read either. She practically fucking screams when that one comes off. I imagine you can just read the cast text. Uh. 
Also, you know, the fact that all the moves are fixed. She doesn't have RNG aside from what side the wings are glowing. Oh, now you want to center the boss. Watch them move in and screw us all over here. Oh, yeah, no, they're attempt- Yep, yep, they're doing exactly that. Thanks, asshole. Why do you keep insisting on taking at an angle? Granted, I've seen people tank at a hard angle, so you have a tiny sliver to dodge. And do it repeatedly. This is but a glimpse of the god's strength. But, uh, you can feel the power creep. She should not be at 30%. gonna do your jobs properly? There we go. I would prefer not to die due to incompetence on their part. To the pit before. Not on any of my runs, but it's like, if you're hitting rescue at that point, it's already too late. You're putting them in the pit. Donut. Donut's gotta be behind me. No, it's going the other way. Okay. Guys, also, again, don't line up with the donut immediately. Was worse than I thought it was. You cannot escape my eternal gaze. Today, my theory shall be proven as fuck. So fuck if you can ever get the melees to limit break. We have a reaper, dude. Ah uh, yes, let's do it when she's dead already. Nice. Nice job, buddy. Holy fuck. Also, that should have given me a blade, which I don't need anymore. You can buy the upgraded items. Oh no, never mind. Didn't give me a Blades. I already tossed all of them. The blades are useless now because um, you already get the fully upgraded weapons from tomes. They swap them all to poetics. High level. Again, I just don't want to do orogenics. Fuck orogenics. All the mass pulls are terrible. And frankly, I just don't want to fight the bosses. Also, I just don't want to fight that turtle before the final boss because it's a pain in the ass and takes forever.
Man, if I want to get me in trouble with like copyright laws and shit, I could read like books when I'm waiting for. Her. I could read out loud books that I was um reading, but unfortunately, that's actually a no-no issue. There's a few books that have like that aren't copyrighted; they're now public domain, but it's a very small list. You actually have to ask the author and publisher and shit, and just like... They're not gonna give a shit about me. At least then it would, it would give me something to consistently do, especially when the queues decide they're gonna be 20 minutes. That's so why I've been reading when I'm, when I'm not streaming, I read in between queues. That and since I don't have to worry about a bookmark. Seriously, I love my little e-reader. So, it can be a bit fussy sometimes, but like... Not having to worry about bookmarking something... I can just close it, and it saves my page. Like, it's nice. But, nice little features. Just needs to be a little less fussy and weird. I wish it didn't require the pen as well. Because it has a notebook feature, but you have to have the stylus pen. Which sucks so hard. I might get it eventually, but... Maybe I'll just convert my muffin recipe into a PDF. I think I have it saved as a notepad document. I could probably do that with all my other patterns. So I can import things off of, like, Google Drive. <laughs> ah, sorry. I'm fine, I swear. I just have problems. About 3.4. Problem is, is it worth doing face, or I'm just gonna run into like one random idiot who's going to fucking get in my way all the damn time? That's the real question. Also, one of those fates in, um... In Lost Memory? Very fucking annoying. It's one of the boss ones. It fires so many AoEs in a chain. Also, I think it has a tank buster, which might be a problem. I don't know. Oh, shit. Right. What was I at for tomes? Not much, right? Yeah, because I just bought the necklace because I fucked up and forgot to. <laughs> I bought the earrings by accident and I meant to buy the necklace. So, not gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed with the weapons for the Vanguard set. I keep expecting something cooler when I draw them out and just... Not as interesting as I thought it would be. Also, none of the set has die options, which is weird. This is absolutely a set that's perfect for fucking just like crazy die channels, and we didn't get it. I see. Stop making so much leveling gear that doesn't have die channels. But you know they're gonna bring it back in a later dungeon, and it's gonna have die channels. Because they've done that so many times now. Like, the Domeg set comes back in, uh, Matoya's Relict. And it's viable on that one. But 
Which is what's on my healer glamour for reference. It's the diable version of the Matoya's relict one. Ugh. Ah. I swear I got sleep last night. What? Why am I yawning so much? I swear I got proper sleep for once. Also, we're halfway through with the wait time. It's still saying after 50. Uh, that's discouraging. Then again, it could pick, um, one of the higher level ones, because you don't know who's actually queued in. It could skip me ahead. Probably not by much. Most of the people that I'd be queuing for this stuff are, you know, actually in the same level range. This is, high level is, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 dungeons now. Basically anything that was intended to be prior endgame in one of the expansions. I'm gonna get one of the terrible Realm Rebarred ones, so. There is a lot of them. The problem is that's, you know, back in the early days when SE barely knew what they were doing. A lot of shit had weird gimmicks. At least nothing was quite as bad as, like, Original Karn, but like still kind of sucked. Original Karn is just like notoriously bad. Mostly because of that first boss. I, I'm genuinely surprised the dungeon get, didn't get redone. Not only that, but it technically requires you to read something. Um, Sasha is the same way, but at least it's like. Only the last part of the text even matters. Also, now that we have, like, new pop-up text, what? Why doesn't reading that tell everybody else automatically which, which one it is? That, that would make life so much easier. Then only one person even has to touch it. Like, that would be such a fantastic edit. Like, Sasasha would still be, like, barely worth running, but it would fix one of the big problems it has. And it's just that stupid note. Hard needs its tablets ripped out, honestly. The whole point of the tablets is that you're supposed to put them on a scale and match a specific line. It tells you what the line is at the start. You're supposed to balance the, uh, the flame of magic with the fruit of knowledge or something like that. The 
problem is that part is at the very end of the dungeon, so you're kind of assuming that your players are smart enough to remember that. I only remember it because it's a very notable line and it's relevant to like old dawn shit. Cause like an equivalent one ends up in um in one of the variant dungeons when you're helping uh Nanima run around. Because you're running it around in the the ruins of the the old um the old ruling um body. I can't remember the name of it. It's old. The ruling family is old right now for um, Olda. I can't remember the fucking name of the other one. The one they decided to fucking launch zombies into. Seriously, why did you guys launch zombies at them? I think they were trying to reference that old uh, story that uh, Genghis Khan um, launched plague corpses. I think it was Chinkis Han. There's, there's a bunch of old stories about catapulting plague corpses into the, um... Into the walls, over the walls of cities to infect the residents and the, uh, the soldiers to make them surrender. I think that's what they were going for with that stupid fucking thing with launching zombies. Basically the same idea. Welcome back, the Anatotes. Talking about I was talking about zombie catapults. <laughs> Which if you know the lore of this game, you know what I'm referring to. <laughs> Seriously, old dog, what the fuck? And then you guys have zombie problems in your ruins. Like, come on now. Yeah, the backstory for all does that they destroyed the old civilization by launching zombies over the wall. Or something like that. It, it was fucked up shit. <laughs> like, okay, to be fair, I have my first lore book here, but it's kind of buried, so I can't really grab it. I really gotta put my, my three lore books in an easier to reach spot for how often I keep talking about weird shit. I put my third one away in my bedroom. The first two are out here. To be fair, I should maybe add some shelving underneath my desk. It's not like I put my feet under there most of the time. Like really all I need space for down there is, is just a trash can. Maybe fair, I could technically move the trash can, but then I'd probably eat my controller into it if I did that. So, hold up, what the fuck is the temperature today? Like I said, it's supposed to go to a heat wave again. Twenty-seven could be worse. It's a it says that it's a strong wind though. It does mean it'll cool off tonight at least. Yeah, thirty-two tomorrow, thirty-one Wednesday. Then it peters off. Then it hits thirty-two on Saturday. Ugh. Assuming that sticks, anyways. Mostly it's because there's no cloud cover, so we're we're just getting direct sunlight the whole time. grab the bag of sunflower seeds. Oh, never mind. But yeah, no, I bought a bag of sunflower seeds. <laughs> the, the shelled kind. So, a lot of extra work, but... Why is it always this fucking dungeon? Why is it always the tank that's new? Fuck. Well, shit's not getting done right on the second one, that's for sure. Oh, 
Uh, just regular salted, I think. That's what they were. Oh, I'm an old Dutch. Old Dutch bag. How is this fucking tank stance is on? But they were like three bucks for our pretty much an entire sunflower worth of seeds. <clears throat> Holy shit, you were bad at your job, dude! Also, apparently we're not mass pulling considering I couldn't be bothered to move. Dude, come on, but Club wants to fucking actually do work. Also, we have a white mage, there's no reason for this. Alright, I don't have follow-ups. Also, I'm pretty sure the healer and the other summoner know what the fuck's up, considering they keep stopping to make sure that the tank's the one that runs ahead and spawns enemies. Because <laughs> otherwise there's been some weird fucking behavior out of the two of them. Oh my god, this tank is so bad! Dude, being new is not an excuse for this. Come on now. <laughs> All you have to do is spam AoEs. The rest of us are highly level synced. Oh my. Dude, please. No effort into this. Again. I really wish Red Mage was actually usable right now, not so borked, but then again, it's a high level borked. Now, the only thing I'm bad about this fight with is the brooms, because the weird fucking timings and shit. I'm not used to them anymore. Anyway. You use- okay! You are beyond redemption, dude! He used fucking Living Dead to block a tank buster. There is no recovering from this. We're beyond stupid. Now I remember how the timings work. Okay. The puddles. Oh, what the fuck? That still hit me? Fuck. Come on now. Again, the moment you start using Living Dead to eat a tank buster, if the healer is alive, yeah, you're not figuring out how the fuck to do your job ever. There is no fixing that. Yeah, 
Man, both these spots suck. Oh, piss off! people whole point of it is that you're supposed to die oh hey the tank's dead three stacks ah uh, dumbass you gotta move with that still yeah because you don't know how the fuck to play your damn job dude That's why you don't burn living dead like it's a defensive move. It's your own shit button, dumbass. Had you had it then, you would have survived that. Even if you read your fucking skills, you'd realize they're doing that was a problem. So I don't know how you run out of fucking defensive moves, dumbass. I'm only supposed to be using them on tank busters in this situation. Then again, he is fucking living dead on a tank buster. That thing that doesn't give you armor. Like, if it doesn't result in you dying, you've wasted living dead. You've entirely wasted it. The whole point is to die. Also, this is fucking with my rotation so bad that we're not doing mass pulls. Granted, I remember the days when Summoner used to be shit at AoE. So all it could really do was spread its freaking uh... spread its dots and hope for the best. Particular is an absolute nightmare if you do it with the freaking NPCs. They're incapable of dodging and doing commands. So once you start, they're also incapable of registering more than one AoE at a time. So once shit starts going down there, they just don't do anything for long periods of time. Dude's gonna get the fucking high level and never actually learn how to play his damn job. It's gonna be one of those tragic cases. There's no fixing it. You can't tell him he's doing shit wrong. He'll never process it. There's a certain point where you're so stupid with your, with your job that there is physically no fixing it. It would take hours of fucking explaining every single issue. I used to have to fucking reteach Myth how to play Bard every fucking time he came back. Which was like a good hour of fucking work. Yep, he's not paying any fucking attention whatsoever to the fact that there are mechanics going on.
Assuming his camera angle is staring straight in front, he should see that the healer and other summoner are doing things and is just not paying any attention. Also, trust me, you don't want to spawn them as ads. The last time that happened, nobody besides me was hitting the damn thing and it fucked us all over. Because they, uh, they do an AoE slow. <laughs> Our job the healer should be picking the, the extra one up to making me do it yeah, the further along we go the less convinced I am that these two actually know what they're doing because they keep aggroing shit now I've been in here. Are the groups talking backwards? Yeah, they're talking backwards. I don't know if I just never noticed that or if I just forgot. That'll go to me. What do you mean, what flavor? What are you talking about? So I'm not looking forward to this final boss. It's the one you can easily fuck everyone over on. Like, I'm not AOA for a reason, because we need the healer dead. He heals way too much.
<sighs> well, time to probably fucking die. Because the tank's gonna get his ass handed to him. Since there is an instant kill mechanic here. We're here. Move your ass. Jesus, I almost got enmity right off the bat. Uh, idiots, move. Literally only have to make two steps. to the curtains. The wrong one. Oh, we lost one of them. Cool. No, we lost two of them. Thank you, dumbasses. Thank you. And now the healer is just not bothering. Oh, we're losing two people here. No, you cannot heal through that. Tank up. You guys really can't pay attention to that blade at all, can you? Well, I'm probably gonna die to this right now. Nope, just barely had enough armor. So at least works with intelligence. Oh my god, you guys ser just pay attention to where his blade is. You don't have to read the text on that one. clear this now. So it decides to drop more shit, but we lost almost all of it. We have all of one chair now. And I think you could technically time it so that two people chuck their status effect off on one item. That's not fucking happening, and y'all know it's not happening. There's no way in hell. So he just stop, decides to stop doing that mechanic, but I don't think he does. Stop doing that mechanic. If he has got to keep doing it, he would have done it just now. It's like, thank fuck, because otherwise this is a DPS race for no reason.
But yeah, hitting the cartons first is the smart thing, technically. It's just two of them got destroyed immediately because they used the wrong thing. Which again, I'm not surprised because I did that too. Because I was like, wait, which marker was the one I had to drop? You can't heal through it. It instant kills you. And now level 100. The only, the only issue with my eye level right now is if I have a shitty weapon. That was unpleasant. Ah, oh, why throw a potion at me? Why'd you do that? Oh yeah, my training dummy's not there. It's over here. I find it weird that they were like, oh, let's give... Let's finally give them a heal, and it's the worst fuck attached to the other Bahamut, of all things. Yeah, there's the regular Bahamut. I'm not bothering with that, because I'm just going to go fucking buy one later. Like, I'm not bothering with my artifact gear at all. I might with Scholar. That way I have a usable, uh, healer, but... I'm gonna bother with fucking Summoner, because I'm not planning on using any Summoner until I can buy its weapon. Ow, what? I wasn't whining, I was just saying I can't use Summoner until I actually have a weapon. Also, I really don't like the look of this thing. Why, why don't we have the ability to dye these? I say, stop doing that with the freaking... With the freaking leveling gear. I gotta get more to drink. Let's take a break before I do uh, expert with Picto. Yeah, the PvP gear is better, because at least you can die it. Because it also has the, uh, the, uh, tech wear equipment. It's in the, um, the other category, or the glamour category? What the fuck was that category called with the trophy crystals? It's all gamer, glamour equipment. Wait, did it not do Phoenix, or did it reset? Did I do it already and just not pay attention? Also, Essie. Oh, I see what it does. Okay, it cycles back to uh, Solar and then... Then to Bahamut, then Solar, then Phoenix. Why would you do it that way? That's so confusing. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. I put a can run ads, I'll be right back. And now we're um we're doing X Bar Roulette with Pick Dumb Answer. The BRB.
come back. Hold up. I'm back. Probably you guys say goodbye because I gotta swap. Oh, hi. Hello. Where's my pick, though? There it is. Time for Bonk Hammer. Also, did you want something or did you just want to AFK on my lawn again? Also, yes, hello, Corn Servant. There's no t Yeah, dude, to be fair, I tried to keep it on, but, um... It was gonna sit underneath this, uh, this platform, but it didn't fit. It clipped in too many weird spots. I was willing to accept some clipping, but not all of it. But, like, did you want to come with? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like I said, I was willing to accept some of it clipping, but there, there is too much of it. So I still have it. It's in storage. Okay. Discord. We're doing Discord. That's an oddly fast time. What are you talking about, game? Oh, bullshit. There's no way it's nine minutes. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. There's no way it's nine. Oh, you so wait. Do you want to go as Viper? Did you swap fast enough? Yeah, I switched. Does it have you? That. Does it have you set a summoner? Because I I didn't see when you switched. Yeah, it, it said Viper right as soon as you invited me. I switched to Viper before you queued up. <sighs> this so hate would I'm go doing, away. I'm doing the stabby. Doing stabby stab. I'm doing the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> really, ju it's just as Dane if he was in Assassin's Creed. Oh, that. Uh, where? Dang it! Oh, there we go. Where you haven't been to any expert real yet, have you? No. And bonk. <laughs> Not the hood, though. Sadly, there was nothing on for the hood, but I like I like this like this stuff. If once I just do the whole thing, I can dye it and see if I can get the color to match. Yeah, I still haven't actually finished any of that shit because it only affects the dye for the artifact here, and I'm not planning on getting any of it. So that could have been a little bit of EXP you could have gotten too, by the way. It barely any. The quests really don't give you that much. Better than nothing. That's what I said with Red Mage, and then I ended up actually having to do two of them instead of one because gave me that little. And I was doing them in living memory, too. I did get a history lesson, though. <laughs> Apparently they did the hunt in Lindblom, so, like, it's literally just Lindblom pulled from nine. Without any changes. Nah, no, okay, I don't have anything to Also, I really should glamour this brush. I don't like it as much as the Red Mage weapon. I've got nicer brushes. But I also don't want to go to an inn to find the... find the glamour stuff. You should just use the Chocobo brush from the, um, one thing. I'd still have to go to the inn to use the glamour dresser. You can't glamour out of the, uh... the armoire without the dresser. Ah, okay. Because the glamouring thing is specifically a dresser feature. But I don't like the I don't like the chocobo brush all that much either. But is it the chocobo brush? Because it's like a star palette. Yeah, the chocobo brush. It has a little it has like a little star thing on the brush itself that's been around. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got cooler brushes.
I got so much junk material out of that. I got a bunch of tier 7s. I've just been selling it all because it sells for its, uh, um, decent okay amount, I guess. I don't think the 7s are gonna be worthwhile considering we're at 12 and 11 and 12 now. I don't think it's gonna be used for the raids. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, probably not. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you just like that because it lets you wear the helmet. Yep. <laughs> I will forever have this helmet on my tank. I wish the expression on the helmet changed. That would be f that would be cool if it did. Oh. Oh, it kind of does. Oh, that's the visor command, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you, know. you can be angry or you can be neutral. Triangle. The triangle is Angie. That's when they start attacking you. <laughs> You're either in passive mode or Angie mode. Wait, what happens if you put face wear on with that stuff? I don't want to know. <laughs> Does it clip? I don't think it'll let me. It should. I don't think it cares. Oh, it does. It clips. It clips. Hold on, hold on. I have glasses on. Yes, it clips. Oh my god. Let's see. Yeah, no, that's a no. I'm not putting that back <laughs> on the <with> table. <laughs> Heavens no. Ugh, Monk is so weird now. I will embrace the fist. I'm entirely fine until perfect balance. And then I'm like, wait, fuck, what have I done already? Sad, I can't wear my beret. <laughs> Especially funny, because your ears are more forward. You'd think it would fit. Or just shrink it. Yeah, hey, a teeny know. tiny beret. Did you ever see this small version of the Oppo Oppo crown the females got in 11? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so I do have the scholar stuff, so... Wait, game? Did it not save? Yeah, that was weird. I was like, wait, why did it do that? <laughs> you turn the monocle on and off. Yes, you can! <laughs> I was like, wait a second, the icon shows a monocle. Oh, nothing. Somebody hasn't set their paladin again. Well, sort no, of. This is, no, no, this is when I was changing over to Rothgar and I just had to make sure I unequip everything, all the, um, <laughs> the armor. So you made a Nike set. <laughs> yes. Sage. Samurai. Samurai has not been glamoured recently, has it? No. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for now. Oh, all that I have. Well, oh wait, hold up. Ashologian, but... It's level 71, so... Yeah, it's kind of anyway. a problem. It also needs the most hot bar editing. <laughs> yeah. I still find it hilarious that despite the fact that they deleted, they managed to delete the same number of skills they added in. <laughs> so I wish it wasn't so boring. Seriously, four of those cards you now throw at the tank, and the other two work exactly the same as they did before. But there's no RNG. It's you get the same three cards every time you hit the uh, button. Well, same four cards. Lord and Lady haven't changed either. Which nice. makes it even weirder that they changed the the skill for it. They like renamed it. They could have used the exact same skill slot. I don't know why they didn't. It it didn't change how it worked. So 
Not like the other ones where they actually changed. Oh yeah. If um this is a side note, if you ever find any good recipes you're willing to share that you think it might be good for like dieting and all that, and just good to have. Let uh, me know. I dude, I don't I don't cook at all. Like my mom's the one you'd have to ask on that, and she doesn't like season anything, so I could just add my own seasoning. I can ghetto it up, so what? I we keep making fun of her and calling her boring. Just be feel like, like Gordon Ramsay. It's effing raw! To be fair, she she eats so little salt that she tanks her sodium levels occasionally. So we have to make sure she eats salt every once in a while. I no, I I literally have to have salt a lot of the time. Considering That's because you're outside if you don't, you don't retain water. I'm sweating like a madman. Yeah. So. You need higher electrolytes because you're constantly outside where it's fucking hot. Yeah. And I'm also hoping that the amount of weight that I've gained is mostly muscle. Mm. Just because of the fact that I'm always walking and all that, but because when I, uh, I weighed myself and I went at 293 and I was like, holy crap, I gained that weight. This last time when I first got down there, I was under like 270 and whatnot. Oh, yeah, no, you may have just it may be a combination of muscle and water weight. Because if you have to drink a shit ton of water, you might be retaining some of it. Yeah. Hey, hey let's just poke a few holes in me and see if it just comes out. I, I wish it worked that way, dude. Like, I'm just like, hey, let me go to the garden and just water it everywhere. I would just, I'll, I'll go water the garden. Be back in a minute. Yeah, I know. I wish that's how you got rid of water weight. It doesn't work that way. Hey, cartoon logic is always fun to have, and you know it. Okay. Ah, oh, son of a monkey! I got bit. What? <laughs> Mosquito. You okay over there, giggles? Yeah, I'm fine. I haven't seen any like mosquitoes at all this season. I've been outside more. I got bit on my ankle though, because don't forget, I'm too tall for for me to notice mosquitoes going at my legs. <laughs> right. I, I, I have the curse of being too tall. It's time to bonk some cactuars. I will stab them. I'm probably gonna have any issues because Paladin. Also, I may die because Scholar. So let's see how this goes. Oh, that's encouraging already. <laughs> yeah, I went yellow on one of them already. <laughs> That was after giving him a minute. Yep, I'm also expecting you're gonna have more hate than I am. Oh I yeah, have... oh yeah. Well then I have gear over you too. If I didn't, there would be a problem. Oh, I got that. Oh, I was too close for that. These are AOE as well. Oh, the uh, re the awakening thing. Yeah, the awakening for first like um and all that going into the legacy. Yeah, well, it too. turns all your AOE ones into the exact same buttons as a single target. It's very silly. Wait, nope, don't need to be AOEing anymore. Well, it does mean that you have accidental AOE, which can be a problem in some things. Also, this paladin should be fine because apparently it cleared the savage of, um, um, uh, Oh, that uh, means enemy. jack shit for his enmity, dude. That could just mean he got fucking carried. I still want to do those fights. And I want to fight on Zerul Jagan because the music in there bops. Like, seriously. Who decided to give that false such kind of music? I'm not even thinking about it until oh, Red Mage gets fixed tonight. The meat is picking over at Soak and sitting at a burning piano. <laughs> that fucking blue Westlow image. <laughs> like we I can It's a it's a southern vacation. We just need chill tracks, Soakin's piano's on fire again. I again. might start I might I also I might start start over on six stages so I can hear all the music again. For that reason alone. <laughs> Just so I can hear the Titan fight music again. Don't judge me. YouTube's a thing 
you now. I don't care. I want to do the fight as well, too. Why is this taking so long? Oh, because the tank's not quite holding them right. Okay. Like, wait. Yeah, because they're, they're, they're spread out to where my AOE couldn't hit all of them at once. Yeah. Either because the enemies are too fat or the tank's not doing its job correctly. Probably both. Okay, Mandeville Tar. Time for Swole. I, just, I call him the Mandeville Tar because he does the flex thing like him for some reason. My enmity meter. That's just how much fucking damage Picto does. <laughs> yeah. Amazed that people get that one wrong when they're getting all the others right. Like, why would you assume that he's not gonna fucking do the same thing? And I know how to deal with this now. Yeah, you have time to move. Is what? Is what it is. Healer said. Oh, crap, baskets. We have a paladin. Let's see if he actually bothers to heal. He could just kill himself. That's great. Right at the edge, too. I don't have any more self heals. So, uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> Fuck's sake. See, it literally doesn't matter that he has a fucking weapon, dude. They could still be shit. Your gear doesn't matter if you're still bad at the game. <laughs> also, again, Paladin, why weren't you healing yourself? One of the jobs that's ridiculous at self-heal. Like, I all I have for heals? All I have for heals is if I'm in Starry Muse and I get things to work right. Uh, second one in Bloodbath. Yeah, you have you have better self heals than I do. Yeah, yours, yours, yours aren't yours aren't linked to a thing that's only up every like two minutes. Actually, it's longer than that. I don't. One hundred and twenty. So yeah, no, two minutes. <laughs> So it would have been better if it was going for you at the start anyways. Yeah, but Pictomancer. Yeah, Pictomancer. But technically your death gave me an opportunity to freaking <laughs> do a lot of damage when I went into trance. 
Yes, I'm calling it that on purpose. <laughs> So my next two jobs are going to be Monk and Machinist. I got to figure out which one I should do first. Uh, I was almost blanking orange on one of those. Monk and Machinist? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm debating on which one I should do first. I might do Monk just because of the fact that I like punching crap, but... Monk's kind of take the most work to relearn, honestly. To, to get it to actually be efficient to remember how to perfect balance. Uh, you can't... I've... You can't necessarily just snap punch every single fucking time. Also, I figured, I figured out how this fight worked at the very last end of the... Um, the, the, the very end of the dungeon. I mean, at the e end of the fight. Yeah. You gotta have some damage. Ooh, thank you. act as walls here. That's my only complaint with this fight. I don't mind that it's chaos, I just don't like the fact that I can't see properly half the time. Chaos. That's another fight I still gotta go through properly. Uh, which one? I'm just changing the paradise. Oh. First, I was like, wait, what's the thing? What's the book put on me for a moment? <laughs> yeah, no, he's standing on top of you. You might be yeah, too that, big yeah. for him to be invisible. I'm a giant woman, so what? <laughs> Thank you, Dingus! Ow! Oh no! Yeah, no, the, uh, the Scholar really doesn't know how to actually run this. He's gotten hit by, like, three freaking cannon shots. Which means he might die on the movement panels later, so... Thank you, giving me a heart attack. Yeah, no, he might die on the movement panels later, so good fucking luck. Wait, what is that title from? Which one? Yorazian Ninja Warrior. I don't know. The Healer's one, I'm pretty sure, is from Monk. And mine's from Heaven's Ward, so... Oh, be careful of the, uh, the splash damage from the cubes. That's what killed me last time. Yeah, okay. no, they have fucking cone attacks. what the fuck was causing splash damage too, but I wasn't getting hit. I was wondering, I was like, wait, why am I taking damage at first? Yeah, no, just don't stand next to the tank, you'll be fine. 
Which I know it's difficult with your with the way your melee works, but yeah, no, just don't stand next to the tank if you can help it. That wasn't with you the first time you ran these, so I couldn't mention it. No, I did. I did. Um, I uh, I did. <laughs> I I. Okay. I can't aim this right now. Oh, I got that. Don't mind that. Yes, don't mind me. I can't English. Like, he knows I'm fucking casting something. He knows I'm in the middle of the three seconds. Oh, trust me, I already know your pain when I do that crap with Ifrit. Oh, yeah. Problem is, your pain is temporary. Mine is, mine is permanent. But still, though, the moment I go to Ifrit, oh, it's like, why? I gotta take another swing at catching this the the greater serpent Naranka. Oh. Wait, oh right, because I'm not aggroed, it's uh not counting. There's some weird enmity bullshit you can do with your instant casts in a few places. I bet. Not the AoE. I can never, I can never figure this out properly. So you're gonna have to guide me. Yeah, it's not that difficult. Now he's gonna summon the the round ones. Really easy. You just go to the opposite side. This part. Ah, oh, that was a weak wretched. And now the fun instant kill. Cut me off, asshole. Hell yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I'm dead. I hate that. I hate that move. Now, is dude actually gonna fucking heal me? Okay, other side. No, he's gonna fucking let the fairy do it. Cool. Great. Well, I hope for your sake we don't get hit by an AoE immediately. Probably will. Oh, right. Phone I'll attacks. Pop. I'll pop blood. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Stack together, and then when he does a knockback, uh, just arm's length. Like, 
Like, you can possession these as shitty as you want. Use freaking arms length or shirt ass. want to do is make sure you're not getting hit by the rolling blocks. Oh, sweet Jesus! It's only the ones doing the AOAs that really matter. The line attacks are easier to deal with. But yeah, no, I am I have issues reading those arrows. It's when he it's when he combines it so that I get confused on how the pattern's gonna work. Yeah, no, just avoid the ones that are that have the circle around them, and then figure out what the line attacks are. As long as you're not getting hit by oh, the God. circles, you'll probably be fine. Ah, uh, straight metal's not safe. Go go far down. I guessed. <laughs> See if I can get this earring. Oh, yeah. I rolled a 99. <laughs> as long as the tank doesn't try to go for it. No, they already had it so they couldn't get it because I checked them before. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. And also got I also got that other one too. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Alright, because you already have gunbreaker cap. Oh, I forgot to send my retainers back out. Whoops. Oh yeah, have you seen have you seen new mana font, by the way, for Black Mage? Hey, they changed how it works, and it's kind of overpowered now. <laughs> Fully restores MP. Additional effect. Grants Astral Fire 3, 15 seconds. Additional effect. Grants Thunderhead. Duration, 30 seconds. Additional effect. Grants three Umbral Hearts. Umbral Heart bonus nullifies Astral Fire's MP cost. Increased for our fire spells. Additional There's effect. It grants Paradox. Does that also work with Flare? Ah, uh, Fuck. Yes, I think? Oh, no. What it? What was it? Use Flare on, like, the third one, I think. Uh, okay. Well, Flare or Despair. Oh, fuck. How did you... Oh, no. I'm but... thinking of the AoE. You'd use Flare on the third one. Because they're both AoE. It's just Despair. Uh, no, Despair is single target. Flare is AoE. Oh, oh okay. Because, like, pretty much everything they've been doing with Black Mage is making sure they have an AoE and a single target variant. But no, it's a bit ludicrous what they've done to it. Punk. Punk. Actually, I might make the other, um, the, um, the Mendeva one to go with this because of, um, how the outfit looks for the technological feel. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, you really just don't fucking gain MP without Umbral Hearts. 
Yeah, no, That's... no, now I see what the fuck they were talking about. That sucks. Makes the entire AoE rotation way more difficult. I'm just happy I got Lionheart. Okay, yeah, no, freeze grants. Grants them. Oh, and anytime you swap between aspects or turn an aspect on, you get, um, you get Thunderhead. So it doesn't proc off of itself anymore. Is the amount, but it costs 3,000 to cast fucking goddamn fire. Oh, bad. Also, I forgot how weird my hotbar was. Feels so much better than having sharp cast, though. But yeah, I think what happened is they changed how. Oh, right, it won't reset because you're hitting it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I think yeah, what happened is they changed how Umbral Hearts works. Because every time you proc Umbral Heart stack, it gives you MP. Oh, does it so really? It I think it, what happened is it caused the original MP regeneration to fucking suck. But yeah, no. no now, now it makes sense. Which means the early levels just fucking fights. Okay, calm down there, show off. I don't care! The fan of Fantasy 8 fanboy in me is happy. So, <laughs> yeah. But the abilities I learn are High Thunder, High Thunder 2, so single target AoE. Retrace, which lets me move my ley lines. The, I, no, the, the moment I think of Retrace, I get Final Fantasy XI flashbacks and my friends screw with me on that one with Warp or Warp 2. I get sent back to the freaking past. Um, there's also Flare Star. Deals fire damage to target and all enemies nearby it. With a potency of 400 for first enemy, 65% less for all remaining enemies can only be executed when Astral Gauge is full. They, okay, they, Kuja. They gave me another thing. They gave you Kuja. That's what they did. Grants a stack of Astral Soul upon landing fire for our flare. I, oh, because AoE. Duh. Looking for Paradox. Wait, go back up. I saw it at the bottom. Oh, when you right. Were, um... What? Yeah, oh, right unassignable. Uh, no, it's single target. So for my AoE rotation, it's not important to actually hit. Oh, also it gives me fire starter. Ooh. Just uh, free fire three. Oh yeah, nice. Also, I probably will be doing the whole um those other quest things because I like the look of this outfit, this coat specifically. Mm -hmm. And I like the way. Hold up, let me let me wait. Hold up. Yeah, um, but which die chant cards are the die channels? That's the real I, question because you have two also, of them. I like the look of the back as well too because look at that. Basing it off Rhino's coat? I don't know. She has angel wings on the back of it. Yeah, that's. But I just like the way that looks, and it's really cool. 
But it also looks like there's zippers on the side of the wings at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, it looks like you got a bunch of buttons or something. This is not belts like Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine your black mage gear would have all the belts and stuff. Yeah, I am not Lulu, goddammit. Then again, I'm walking around with an eyeball on a stick. Yeah, I just noticed that holy crap is staring at me. Oh yeah, no, it stares. It looks at you. It spins. And yep, I there it goes. Currently, I am currently working on getting this one upgraded to the mech, um the other version. Oh, the Manderville ones. Yeah, but this one actually kind of looks cool too. The glow as well with the runes. I might actually when I do get get the replica for that one too. I really wish we got glowless versions. I don't think they added them. Actually, wait, what can I do? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, don't what? mind me. I'm just geeking out. The colors on the die, which some of these look really cool on. <laughs> oh. Now, let me take you. Come on, back in my. No. You, where are you at? Hey, what the fuck? Why can you dye that helm? Why does it have two die channels, but like none of the other gear has die channels? I think what it's because I did that. I probably because I haven't unlocked them all or something, maybe? No, your helmets. Your helmet's not. Oh, that's Either because wrong. it's the, um, that, that's because it's glamoured over to be the other helmet. Yeah, but that, that helmet is not, that, that set's not dieable. The Vanguard set's not dieable for everybody else. Hold on, hold on, where's yeah. my Vanguard set in here? Yeah, it shows I can die in the helmet. Um, I have my Vanguard set glamoured over. But shows as dieable, even though it's... I think? The weapons sure as fuck aren't. Actually, wait, hold on. Don't I have the glamour prisms? Wait, no, I think they're in my chocobo saddlebag. Hold up. Yes, they are. Let me come in the house. Actually, wait, I don't even think I need to do this. Did you do anything in the house, by the way? Huh? Any changes? Not inside, no. Ooh, poor fish! Ooh! Oh, it is diable. Why is the weapon not diable? I, I see. Know. What the fuck? I see this tiny fish wants to be eaten. Tiny fish alone. Nom nom nom. Oh, it dies the shirt and the coat separately. Okay. What are you looking at specifically? Which ones? Now I'm looking at your rainbow fish again. I was looking at the one up on the stairs. I was oh. looking up at the. I think it's called Electro Guitar Fish, by the way. Wait, can I take it out and strum it like it's Guitar Hero? Aethero, Aethero Electric Guitar Fish. It's found in Old Charlian. When I hear that, I just think, and this music was electric. From freaking <laughs> <Mr. Ray. laughs> <That's... laughs> There's also a mech fish up here. Oh, that's the. Oh, yeah, that one. I saw that one before. Oh, hello, giant bug. Oh, yeah. No, that's from a uh, Google library. I think it's the HM one. It's not gonna sm it's not gonna close on me in my face, is it? I'm not gonna get stuck in the book, am no, I? No, it doesn't have a button to interact with it. But I might be changing out the floor couch, because there's this nice leather couch that exists now. Nice. Are you still keeping this? I like this table. Yeah. No, a table stain. Then you got the other fish over here. Yeah. Uh, that how one's armor fish. How many tanks can you have in your house? Uh, four, I believe. Is that for uh, no, all sizes? I, wait, no, I think it's... Hold on. I have to actually look at them. I think it's four for apartments. Six for cottages? Or am I off on that? Uh, it doesn't matter how... It doesn't matter the size of the houses? The size of the house matters. Like, most, okay. of, most of these items. Well, I have a medium, so... Up. I'm trying to find the damn things. Probably pass them. Nope, found them. Um, four for apartments, six for cottages, eight for houses, ten for mansions. Okay, so I have a house, so I can have eight. Yeah, you can have eight fish tanks. And keep in mind and... that that doesn't account for the size of the fish tanks. So you could have eight of the big ones. It had mini fish in there. Yeah. Um. This is the the medium. 
I think this, this one over here is the second to largest. It holds three small fish. And this is the largest one, right? Yeah. It holds one massive big chungus fish or a, a bunch of small ones. I will eat you. Um, yeah, no, he's an XL fish, so he only fits in these ones. He takes up all seven <laughs> slots. But despite the fact that I think there's four slots in here. Yeah, there's four slots in here, but it only allows for three small fish. I don't know why. Yeah, Lapras, he's staring at me. Yeah, once they start staring, they never fucking stop looking. I thought he was looking at you at first, but no, he's looking at me. Yeah, no, he follows the player. It's, it's client side. Oh. Oh, I hear, the, I hear the music you have playing in here now. Oh, yeah, no. That music takes a while. Smile has a weird thing at the start where he just doesn't have any audio for a bit. No, I'm, and I'm just still laughing at poor Braha tripping over and he <laughs> couldn't have his taco. Nobody got any tacos. And that wasn't... He didn't trip. Alice pushed him. She, she bumped into him as she walked past. Poor Kenny. <laughs> Also, my bedroom hasn't changed, that all it still looks exactly the same. Really need to change the mannequin at some point. They just slapped whatever I had onto it. It doesn't look terrible, but I need to change what it has. At least your house is more detailed than mine for the moment. Once I start getting you my You still haven't really here. decorated yours. Yeah. You can still preview furniture items now, by the way. You preview them with dyes, I think. I gotta. My hot bars are a mess. I gotta. Ah. But yeah, no. There's yeah. a there's a preview furnishing setting. Yeah, I might put down a royal leather sofa. I will attack the wood. Do any of the housing items have two die channels? Probably only be the new ones. New stuff. Unless I just have to go back and change some of the other old stuff. Also, there's now assortment of strewn bottles. An array of haphazardly arranged bottles, useful for cultivating an air of I just don't care. Essie. If you make that, I will buy it and put it at the bottom of the floor of my house. Um, you might be able to buy it off the NPC. The one behind me. I know you can buy the Sunset Farm Escape, which is a well, I wall can't attachment. I can't buy. I can't interact with you. Oh yeah, right. You don't have that ability. I can't give it to you because you're not on the server. Oh, they oh. added in the rest of the um, the god paintings. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, cool. They're in the new category list. I have to check at my I have to check at my place because right now I can't preview anything to them over here. Yeah, no, it's a it's you have to be the owner of the house. I'm a sort of tenant. <laughs> I come and go and just relax on the patio. <laughs> Ooh, that's a shower bed, isn't it? Bathroom tiles? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, flower tile wood. There is a shower actually. There's Where like a shower head. It has a drain, so, I, and it has some tiles that are different. The fat cat one was cute. I might buy that now, just because. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish I could preview the actual like wallpapers and shit. Can't do that. I like your wall, the wood wall you have up here. I might, I gotta rechange mine because I know my floor is actually tile at home at my at my place. Oh, also to be fair, I could change the the um the inner walls that make up the bedroom to be the mm -hmm. ones that you can put wallpaper on, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> then I'd have to pull the whole thing down and reset it up. And the. No, you, you don't have the top to be the same way on that one. Lining those walls up is a bigger bitch than you think it is. <laughs> Let me guess, you, uh, your OCD is just gonna nag at you? Eh, sort of. Like, the reason these um panels are right next to the door is to hide the fact that the walls don't line up. The only way to get the door set right was if I left parts of the corners there. You can see it at the top, actually. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me... 
Oh. Oh, you're right. Holy yeah. crap, I just noticed that. Yeah. These panels hide it so well, but it's only really visible at the top that they're fucked up. Yeah, because of the columns, you can see where it clips and it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, there was no way to line the door up with the walls in a way that made them actually attach. Or without the uh, window getting clipped between the two pieces. Because, like, part of the window is inside the wall. Also, I see it keeps adding more fishing decorations. <laughs> I've got a little thing of lures. I've got fishing rods over here. <laughs> oh, also, there's the trophies. This is actually three separate parts. I just realized the music you have playing right now. I need to get this <laughs> yep. I just started bopping. It's from the Whopper it Tribe stuff. Yeah, I gotta do that stuff. That's the Barista one, ain't it? Uh, no, that's the, uh, that's the mechs. Oh, okay. It's just a Whopper oh. it goes to help them out. Well, don't forget, I still, I only got two class, I got two crafts at 80. The also, others are at 71 and 72. Do your custom deliveries, they'll get you a lot of EXP. Yeah, I need to do that, and I also gotta, uh, God, it's just, uh, I need to figure out, uh, action traits on this, because I gotta figure out what goes where, again, get me off that, that's basics, okay. Also, if you're gonna go for another one, with, with, um, another thing, you can do it without me, I know, because I gotta make sure I feed my roommate's dogs just soon, too. No, uh, I think it's dinner time now. <laughs> At that point, I guess, wait, what's, what, what's for Den Den? Uh, I think pizza. Ooh. They they were on we... sale, so I've got three of them. Ooh, ooh, what kinds? Um, it's just thin crust pepperoni. Ah, okay. I'll probably put like chili flakes on it or something. I I got especially yeah pizza won't be part. Uh, I can eat a pizza. I can't go crazy when buy pizzas yeah. and whatnot for my diet and everything. But James, when I buy one, I have to make sure not to eat it all in one day. One yeah. yeah. Don't hey hey <laughs> hey I'm a big guy so. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like, don't you order like several burgers anytime you order one? Uh, I thought I you just, did. No, I just ate the whole pizza on its own. It was a 14 inch pizza I ate by oh, myself. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It was a 14 inch stuffed crust pizza. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You, got, you can't go doing that. That's a lot of cheese I, and a lot of pizza. Hey, I just figured I'm going to walk it all off and I'll be fine. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> So, but, yeah, like I said before, if that's the case, I hope most of the weight that I did gain is just muscle, so it won't be too much of an issue. Yeah, if it's just so, muscle, there's nothing you can do about it. Except just tone it up. <laughs> yeah. Because, like I said before, me, I have been lifting my weights and whatnot, so that might be a help with, like, my muscle mass has been increasing on. So, it's yeah. not a bad thing. It, it was just concerning to me that like, I gained that much weight. And I figured, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was going to be overweight for how tall I am. Which yeah. kind of concerned me. Yeah, the thing is, if your weight doesn't go down, I'd go to the doctors and see if you can get your body fat scans. Because it can tell you where if there's any excess anywhere. Yeah. But knowing me, there might not... I think the only excess is on my stomach. Most people have. To be fair, everybody has some belly fat because you need it to survive, but like... Yeah. And if I and if I slightly suck in my stomach a little bit, it looks like I have a, um, a six-pack. <laughs> I, I kid you not. I suck in my stomach a little bit, and I look in the mirror, it looks like I have a bit of a six-pack. So, it could be muscle. So, I'm I'm staying optimistic that that's the big thing, and I'm just fretting for nothing. But, I'm also getting a little bit healthier in the process. To be fair, it wouldn't hurt to start up a, a good, solid workout routine, because if they move you into the, the building, eventually, yeah, uh, you won't be fly. getting quite as much of a workout. Not to mention you won't be sweating as much. Yeah, luckily for me, with my uh, with the um the weights I have here, I can do push ups, sit ups, that kind of thing, and I have a bike still. So I might return that once I do get a car, so I can just get myself like a treadmill bike kind of thing, and I could just do with that, and yeah. that'll be what I can make do with. But once all this stuff gets sorted out, I get my license and then get a car and all that. Then it's then it's me looking for a better job. That will be priority number three, so, and with the reputation I've built for myself at work, it's 
basically gonna get other people to like, once you get a license and you get a card, come to me and we'll find out what we can do. And there's one um the AP lady, her husband's a marine, and there's an auto zone parts store right across the um right across the parking lot, and she said he might be able to get me a job because he manages the store. Oh, fun. I could be I could be able to just drive around delivering parts. So and that could be a full time thing me on that one too. And it's Mostly a lot of it's up in the air still. First things yeah. first, I got, I got one more driving lesson possibly to do this Thursday, but apparently it's supposed to be bloody raining. So yeah. that's going to be fun. I've, I've only done it in the rain once, but I need to do it, but this time it's going to be on the freaking freeway. Yeah, to be fair, you need that training anyways. Yeah, I've been in the rain a lot anyway, so it's not like it's the end of the world, but I'm just annoyed. It's like, dang it. <laughs> yeah, well, I got to hop off, dude. So I'll talk All to right. you later. Yeah, talk to you after Dindin. All right, as for you guys on stream, I'm wrapping up for today. I'll probably be stream tomorrow, so I gotta look at the updates. Uh, probably not one on Wednesday, because I, I I like to take a break. I'll probably still be playing 14, but I'd like to take a break. <laughs> look at the VODs going, probably either, either this week or next week. I think it depends on whether or not this one gets fucking copyright troll. Yay. Friggin' Nier Automata. Nier Automata happened, so the one song I know for sure can get copyright trolled got played. I guess I could've turned it off, but like, I also didn't want to. Like, fuck the trolls. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go and get food. So, uh, thanks for coming, guys. I'll see y'all next time.